in order to cure my weight for the Gintama anime, because God knows when that will come out, I set my eyes upon Twitter to suggest a series to watch, which seems to have spiked up in praise as of late, but one of which I knew had quite the cult following. That series is Bakemonogatari. Now, at the time of the recording of this video, I haven't finished Bakemonogatari. In fact, I decided to showcase my journey of the series through the use of arc reviews. I think simply talking about my first impressions and thoughts of each arc would be a better format rather than a raw recording of it. This allows me to gather my thoughts and to analyze the arc in question a lot better. For this video, I will be discussing the first two episodes of the Bakemonogatari series, which focuses on the Hitagi Crab arc. With that said, like, comment, subscribe, and let's discuss the first arc of Bakemonogatari. Right off the gate, I have to say it here before we discuss the arc in detail. The way the show is animated as well as the art style itself is very artistic. The show has several ways to convey scenes in which I truly appreciate. Uh, like for example, the show clamors in together several sequences of scenes in which two characters could be talking, but while the dialogue is being presented, so is the character's movements, backgrounds, and other artistic shots instead of a single still frame, topped off with a beautiful soundtrack to boot. Also, so I wouldn't be lying to you if I told you I thought I was watching a softcore hentai show. I mean, they really push the fan service in this show. I mean, the beginning of the show opens up with a minute long panty shot. The second episode, I'm literally watching a girl getting changed for about 11 minutes straight. <laughs> and to be honest, I hear the show goes even beyond that. But before I get ahead of myself, let's start at the beginning. Upon first jumping into the Monogatari series, the viewer is introduced to key moments of the story in which look very pleasing to the eyes. Not in terms of animation, but in terms of the context of what is being presented. We have vampires and other supernatural happenings with characters that are showcased to be holding a much darker secret than what meets the eye, and that is how the show grabs your attention. The Monogatari series is also known to be a very dialogue-heavy show, especially since it's based off the light novels of renowned author Nisi Oi. Even while conversations amongst the characters may last long, they are never boring and in fact intrigue me. Now that I'm finished giving my first impressions, let's start to analyze the Hitagi Crab arc. The Hitagi Crab arc, I felt, was a good introduction of what I could expect going in further into the series of Bakemonogatari. We are introduced to a few characters within these two episodes, but the focal point that drives the arc forward is the interactions amongst Senjo Gohara and Araragi, Araragi being the main character, and Senjo Gohara being the character in which the arc is based off of. I believe upon finishing the arc, the series tends to lean toward a more philosophical slice of life show, with different themes being presented amongst the character arcs. In the Hitagi Crab arc, the theme centers around how to deal with your past and how to overcome it. Within Senjo Gohara's past, she encounters a crab god that takes away her weight, her weight actually being a metaphor for her emotional burden. When Senjo Gohara begins talking about her past, we learn that her mother grew increasingly concerned for her when she had a major illness, and because of this, drew her attention to spiritual assurance. Eventually, there was a breakthrough in the operation, and Senjo Gohara lived. However, her mother became more increasingly involved with the cult, which led to Senjo Gohara's relationship with her mother begin to dissipate, and soon led to Senjo Gohara becoming nearly raped by a member of her mother's cult. Ever since that day, Senjo Gohara placed walls around her and had never really opened up to anyone since. During the exercising process, Meme Oshino literally says no matter how heavy they are, implying emotional burdens, they are things you must carry with you and you can't push them onto someone else, someone else being the crab. 
Araragi and Oshino cannot see the crab itself because the crab is literally the embodiment of Senjukahara's problems, and therefore, the only way to overcome it is to face it head on. By the end of the arc, upon opening up about her problems to Araragi and Oshino, Senjugahara realizes that she doesn't need to distance herself from others and completely block them out through the wall she created, but instead is reminded about the healing qualities in which friendship can have, which eventually leads to her befriending Araragi, something that she was so hesitant on doing before. And through this, Araragi becomes a part of Senjugahara's world, sharing the weight of her problems himself. In conclusion, I'm really enjoying the beginning of the Bakemonogatari series at the moment, and if the rest of the arcs continue this trend of telling intricate stories and themes, I think I'm really going to enjoy this series. So before I do in fact leave off this video, I would like to ask you all if you would like to continue seeing Monogatari videos from me. If so, should I continue doing arc reviews, or would you rather me complete each season before discussing? I'm personally fine with either, as long as there is a decent amount of reception on these videos, just keep in mind if I do, in fact, continue to do the arc reviews, my journey with this series is going to be a lot slower, since I want to try to keep the same arcs around the same quality as this video. And not to mention, while the arcs are short, there's around 50 of them. With that said, I hope you all enjoyed the video. As always, comment your thoughts, like the video if you enjoyed and would like to see more, subscribe to the channel, and share this video around with others, and let them know that I started my journey with the series known as Monogatari.